Good day folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, thank you guys for your subscription, continue doing the right thing and watch all my videos and like and share and comment. Now today we're going to look at Newton's second law of motion. I'd like to start with the definition. This is a definition according to an exam guideline. It says when a net force or a resultant force acts on an object, an object will accelerate in the direction of a force and an acceleration is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass of an object. Now, what is important here, guys, it's the relationship. It says the, the acceleration... Okay, let me use um, a smaller size of a pen. What is important here, an acceleration, an acceleration is directly proportional to the F net. We know what do we mean by direct proportionality. The greater the force on an object, the greater the acceleration. Smaller force on an object, uh, smaller the acceleration of an object so now graphically guys when we plot that relationship um, so that means the mass of an object according to the definition that says f net is equal to ma so we're looking at the relationship between the f net and an acceleration so the mass needs to be kept what constant so the mass will be constant there so graphically guys um, the relationship of a mass um, relationship of an acceleration acceleration so the graph will be like that those are the axes of the graph it's very important to label the axes so something that is directly proportional guys it's a straight line graph so if you have a value there of an acceleration in fact zero force zero acceleration if you have a force there you have an object accelerating a force you have an object accelerating there there like that so you graph there um, you will cut through the origin there so guys there this is the graph that shows the relationship this is the dependent variable and this is in what the force it's an independent variable there so the force does not depend on the acceleration okay now the gradient when we look at the gradient there the change in y over change in x which is our gradient for this graph it's going to be change in y over change in x so what is our change in y there it's an acceleration divided by the f net so now from this definition of newton's second law that means our gradient it's going to be 1 over m let me a little bit show you how this happens so if you have f net um, how does the gradient come to that F net is equal to MA, so if we divide by an acceleration there, we're going to have we're going to have M is equal to F net divided by A. So now if we 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 are getting this for a gradient, so that means we invert this. So it will be one over M equal to A over F net. So our gradient is 1 over 1 over m. That's the gradient of this graph. Now let's look at the relationship now. The relationship of what? Of an acceleration and that is inversely proportional to mass while the F net is what? Is constant. While the F net is what? Is constant. So, as it says there, acceleration is inversely proportional to mass of an object. So, guys, it's very important here, since I've mentioned the dependent and independent there, the controlled variable here, the control variable according to that relationship and in that graph, control variable here, it's going to be a mass of an object. Mass of an object, which is the mass of a moving object.
So graphically, the graph of this is going to be, um, that shows that relationship. It's going to be an acceleration there, meter per second square. And then a, a mass there, the mass in kilograms. So these are inversely proportional, guys. Something that are inversely proportional, the graph, it's like that. It's going to be a curve like that. If you can see there, if we have a, a mass of that object, the acceleration will be that. But as soon as we increase the mass, the mass increases, the acceleration decreases. The mass increases, the acceleration decreases. So that's an inverse proportionality there. Um, also, guys, we can have a curve that shows, that shows an acceleration with an inverse of an inverse of a mass um, it's going to be something like that yeah so it's an acceleration so this one it shows a direct proportionality direct proportionality Shinality. so this direct proportional it means that the acceleration is directly proportional to an inverse of a mass. So the graph, it's going to be something like this. Okay, let me do it. Um, let me do it here. Just for... Okay, let me just write it here. Take this guy to here. Let me write here. So the graph, it's going to be something like this. So we have an acceleration there in meter per second square and we're going to have 1 over m there which is going to be kg minus so they're directly proportional now they become directly proportional so the gradient there it's going to be it's going to be that so it's going to be change in y change in x so the gradient of this graph it's going to be change in y over change in x, which is our change in y. It's going to be acceleration over 1 over m, which is the inverse of the mass. So the gradient there, to find the gradient there, so you will say a over 1, and then um, you change this division into a multiplication. So if you change that into a multiplication, you put you put the multiplication there. So this fraction here, you're going to invert it. So it's going to be m over 1. So this simply means that the gradient here, it's going to be ma. So what is ma? ma is equal to what? f net. So that's the gradient here. It's what is an f net. That's the constant. They call it the constant. But we can also have the graph of the graph of the graph of um, um, let's let, let me write it here. The graph of uh, inverse of an acceleration directly proportional to mass while their force is what is constant. The force is constant, and here the force is constant as well, which is the F net is what is constant, right? So let's go back there. So we have acceleration. So the acceleration that means it's a meter per second square, one over meter per second square, and then we have here the mass. The masses and kilograms so these two they are also directly proportional they're like that they're directly proportional so the gradient here change in y over change in x our gradient there it's going to be the gradient which is the slope of the graph which is change in y divided by change in x our change in y it's 1 over a all divided all divided by mass so which is going to be um, there's an over one there so if you change this division into a multiplication you have one over a multiplied by m um, multiplied by one over 
m so you change this fraction um, you invert it so if you change into a multiplication so it will be 1 over m a which is m a is equal to f net so you have that there so guys um, I think that's about it um, in the graphs and, and also you can have a graph of a inverse of a mass which is kg and an acceleration which is an acceleration here which is meter per second so they are also directly proportional like this so your gradient here your gradient for this graph is change in y over change in x which is 1 over m all divided by a so which is going to be there's over 1 there so which is going to be 1 over m you change that division into a multiplication so it's going to be 1 over a which is quite similar with 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 what we just done with this one it's quite similar with this graph so the gradient is the same so it's 1 over m a because it's 1 times 1 m times a it's m a so it's going to be um 1 over f net there so guys it's very very important to know these graphs what's happening in the graphs of newton 